It's Friday, February 10th. Appreciating guidance staff, Black History Month at Beaufort, and it's not just Friday, it's Friday. All this and more on this week's edition of the Stinger on Air. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Braxton Rolson, and welcome to this week's edition of the Stinger on Air. It's National School Guidance Counselor Week. There are almost 34,000 school counselors currently employed in the United States. Michael Escamilla introduces us to the BHS Guidance Department. I believe that we have a very important part in the school, especially when it comes to advocating for our students. If you've ever been in the counselor's office, then you should know firsthand how dedicated this family is to your education, your future, and your experience here at BHS. Huh? Lead school counselor Paula Stigal-Leo says that's the goal. At Buford High School, school counselors have three goals that we work on with students. Personal and social goals, career goals, and academic goals. The five members of the guidance team have many responsibilities. We've got uh, Ms. Walker, who is our registrar. She um, handles our, our, like, the records coming in and out when people transfer in and out. Um, she also processes all our transcript requests. Ms. Threat, who's our college and career development facilitator. Ms. Watts, she is also the other counselor. She has letters A through L, and I have M through Z. And then, of course, we have Ms. Adams, who is our college advisor. Stigal Lell says that being a counselor is very rewarding. Seeing students mature from the ninth grade to the twelfth grade. So you all might not see it, but I and the other ladies that got us, we see how much you change just in those four years and how much more mature you are in your choices and your decisions. Scheduling, testing, and career planning are just a few of the responsibilities of the guidance department, but building on the relationships they have with students is job one. For Stinger on Air, I'm Michael Escamilla. Thanks, Michael. Since 1976, February has been recognized as Black History Month. The event celebrates the contributions African Americans have made to our nation. We sat down with Assistant Principal Kevin Mood to get his thoughts on Black History Month. It means a lot to me. Um... First off, Black History Month was, was founded by one of my fraternity members, um, Carter G. Woodson. Um, and its purpose was to make sure that Americans didn't forget uh, the contributions of black people to American society. There are a ton of, of awesome people out there who I, I really look up to and admire. What I've always said is I like to pull traits from different people, you know, um, Dr. King was, was an amazing orator. Uh, I try to live up to that legacy, though a slightly less long-winded. My mom is, is a big one. Uh, she's the principal at Lancaster High School, and, and part of her uh, educational experience for me growing up was contributing, being a contributor to society, you know. Celebrating Black History Month is celebrating America, in my opinion. You know, uh, it, it's just taking an opportunity to, to look at a group of people and how they have made, helped to make America, you know, what America is. Uh, and I think that should be celebrated by all. It, it's, it's not to say, you know, one group is better than another or one group deserves a month where another one doesn't. It's just an opportunity for us to appreciate, you know, what a group of people has done for us as a country. Have you had the chance to check out the spring edition of the Buford Stinger website? We are adding new content. Stinger web content reporter Taylor Green has more. Thanks Braxton. We are very excited about the new semester of producing great stories about Buford Nation. Learned a little more details about a funny story he'd always tell me. In the features section, Stinger staff writer Lainey Cawthon has posted a story about her dad. It's worth going to the web. It's pretty funny. Seeing this decal on a car can put fear in a lot of people, but one Buford teacher makes a living riding in a car with student drivers. Riley Beckham has posted that story in the feature section on BufordStinger.com. Several staffers have also posted new Humans of the House stories, and you don't want to miss these. So be sure to go to the link below or just type in BufordStinger.com in the search bar. For Stinger on Air, I'm Taylor Green. Thanks, Taylor. We told you last week about the baby boom on the campus of BHS, with students adopting lifelike babies as an assignment. Well, this week, there's a real baby boom of living, breathing creatures. In addition to Milk Dud the cow, the farm now has more goats, a pig, and a rabbit. Five of the goats came to the farm pregnant, and there's been a lot of excitement as a couple of the goats have given birth. The new kids on the block will be taken care of by students in the agriculture classes. For regular updates on the Buford Farm family, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Basketball closes out the regular season tonight at North Central. Tip off for the JV is at 5. Last Friday was senior night for boys and girls basketball as well as cheerleaders. Girls basketball will see three seniors graduate. 
Six boys on the basketball team were honored, and the cheer squad recognized five. While the season comes to a close for the boys, the girls are heading to the playoffs, which start next week. The wrestling team played host to the first three rounds of the state playoffs on Saturday. The Jackets had a bye in round one and defeated Marion in round two before falling to Cross in round three. Next up is individual state qualifiers, next Friday. Baseball, softball, soccer, and track are all gearing up, and we will preview those seasons in the coming weeks. So be sure to follow us on Facebook to be updated on new sports content. Would you like fries with that? A common question at almost any fast food joint. But who has the best fries? That's the question Michaela Cato and Riley Beckham are taking to the street. Did you know that French fries aren't actually French? They're from Belgium, which is a French-speaking country. But we want to know what place makes the best fries. Who has the best fries? McDonald's. Why? Because they're always crispy. McDonald's by far. McDonald's when they're hot and fresh and salty. Who has the best fries? Bojangles. Why? Your seasoning's awesome. Um. La Chalupa. Scooby-Doo. Who has the best fries? Chick-fil-A. Why? Because they have sea salt. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. Why? Um, I love waffle fries and, I mean, McDonald's. They have some good food. What's your favorite fries? Um, who has the best fries? Five guys. Why? You get like a half a bag of fries. Who doesn't want more french fries in life? Why don't you answer? <laughs> Apparently, Chick-fil-A seems to be the most popular fry around Buford. Well, what's your favorite kind of fry? Drop a comment down below and let us know. That's all for this week's Day on the Street with Michaela Cato and Riley Beckham. See you in the next one. How about it, Mr. Belk? Where do you get your favorite fries? Ah, oh, Braxton, my favorite fries. Oh, that's, a, that's a tough question just because, I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of the French fry. McDonald's by far has to be the best french fry especially when they're hot fresh coming out and my favorite thing is the uh, fries that get stuck in the bottom of the bag that end up being a surprise at the end that's like the most exciting part of a day whenever you have that happen so definitely mcdonald's french fries all right wanted to uh, start off uh, this week with my shout outs my birthday celebrations Coach Allen, her birthday is coming up this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, happy birthday, Coach Allen. Hope you have a great uh, Super Bowl birthday. And then Miss Abby Falkenberry and Miss Taylor Roberts, their birthdays are coming up next Thursday, February 16th. So happy birthday, y'all. Thank you for all that you do here at Buford High School. We love you. We appreciate you. All right. Want to uh, get into some Jacket Pride shout outs. Uh, remember, personal responsibility, respect, integrity, dedication, and excellence. Want to recognize several folks this week. We have a lot of great things going on, and I'm very thankful to our staff for recognizing our kiddos. Uh, Want to recognize Mr. Mason Dees, Mr. Blaze Patterson, Ms. Summer Badson, Kaylee Snipes, Jax Jackson, Mackenzie Robinson, Anson Allen, Tristan Bledsoe, Ashton Clark, Keely Ellis, and Kaysen Cato. All right, so also want to give a shout out to Dr. Mettinger, Miss Bell, Miss Horn, and Miss Langley, Miss Jacob, uh, and then in addition, Miss uh, Mills and Miss Roof. Thank you for recognizing our students for showing that jacket pride. We always say you find what you're looking for, so thank you for looking. Uh, for the opportunity to recognize our students. We appreciate that. So come up during your own time, get your little shout out, your Cersei today. And then also Case and Kato, you are our t-shirt drawing winner for this week. So get your t-shirt as well, Case. And again, thank you for showing that jacket pride. All right, want to dig in. Upcoming next week, being mindful that we will have our jacket pride celebration for the first four and a half week grading period of the spring semester. That'll take place on Thursday, February 16th. So we will be rolling our jacket prod schedule, you know, more details to come as we get to that day. But really excited to break, excited to celebrate our folks that, that are doing the great things that allow you to be eligible for that. Also want to make sure that we continue to support those uh, that are working to get eligible for the second grading period that's, that we're already in the midst of, all right? So remember, uh, work hard, do your best, but really looking forward to that jacket prod celebration and recognizing those folks that are doing everything that we ask them to do, all right? Also next week, realize it's a four-day week uh, for our students and staff. 
Our students will have a, a four-day weekend coming up. You'll be off on Friday the 17th as well as Monday the 20th. And then our staff, we get a nice three-day weekend uh, and we'll be back for a professional development day on Monday, February 20th. So just be very safe, enjoy that time away. It comes at a phenomenal point in the school year. So enjoy that time away, all right? Going back to this time of the school year, I just wanted to wrap up with a few comments. As we get through these next couple weeks, it's extremely important that you focus small and continue to do the great things that are gonna allow you to be successful, okay? As we encounter this next stretch, some will always say that the next stretch we go through could be a pivotal, pivotal time, I should say, and sometimes a difficult time, just in terms of continue to keep that motivation in the forefront. I actually have a quote this week from Mr. Zig Ziglar, who says, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. And just realizing in life that's going to be true. There are no shortcuts. And when those time comes, when those times come, that can sometimes be a challenge or you might face some, some difficulties. It's extremely important to not take shortcuts. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be great and high levels of communication. And it's going to be seeking out <coughs> the support that you need to be successful that is going to get you through. I apparently need some of that support here during this segment. All right, so just remember to push hard, take the stairs, don't seek out those shortcuts, and you will be in great shape, not only here, but also in life. That idea will be for a uh, graduate. All right, so with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe Friday. Have a great weekend when the time comes. Go Jackets. Thanks, Mr. Belk. That's it for this edition of the Stinger on Air. A big thank you to our sponsors both here and on BufordStinger.com. Without them, it would be difficult to do this each week. If you're interested in becoming a Stinger supporter, check out our website at BufordStinger.com. We also encourage you to subscribe to our channel. It will really help us get the word out about all things Buford Nation. I'm Braxton Rawlson for Stinger on Air.